If you want to install the crystalfocus.net GraphX packages, then this is the tutorial for you. Let's go. For this tutorial, I'm assuming a couple of things. First of all, um, you have a CFX lightsaber. Second of all, you uh, have gone to the website crystalfocus.net and you have acquired a uh, GraphX blade profile or a GraphX package that you can purchase uh, and you will receive a download link which will uh, enable you to download a zip archive file. Um, in most of these GraphX packages, like this one, which I will use as uh, the example to install, we're going to install the uh, Kyber Alpha by J. DeLorean GraphX package. Um, in most of these packages, I link the sound font directly. So you can use this link and get the sound font. In this case, it's from J. DeLorean and you can buy it right here. And he will offer you the zip file for download as well. So. Um, that's where we're going to start off from. I have the uh, sound font. Uh, this is the sound font. I have the graphics package already downloaded and uh, we'll take it from there. So let's start off with installing the sound font. And actually installing a sound font on CFX is relatively easy. Um, you can usually gain access to the SD card of the uh, CFX and you can just take it out and use a uh, adapter like uh, this one to plug the SD card directly into your computer or you can use these uh, kinds of cables, uh, a data cable and uh, activate the SD access option of the uh, CFX card to gain access to the SD card. Um, once you have access to your SD card, installing a sound font is as easy as just opening the zip archive and then uh, copying and pasting the uh, sound font files into a folder that's specifically for this sound font. Now, as you can see, each and every one of these sound font folders has its own uh, number, its own index and uh, it's very important that you do not skip a number. So the highest number is now 26. So I can create a new folder and I should number it 27 and give it a uh, sound font name. The name really doesn't matter. Name it any uh, name you like. And then open it and paste all the files inside of this folder. That's just about it. The sound font is now installed. If you place the SD card back into your Saber, uh, into the uh, CFX and reboot your Saber, then you can already use this sound font. So that's actually step one. Now, step two is installing the graphics files. So what you need to do is you need to find out the uh, LED strip parameter from your uh, CFX Saber. So, um, we have all kinds of uh, different lengths of, uh, of blades and uh, one has uh, more LEDs in it than the other. Um, this is why the CFX allows you to configure and set the uh, blade size of your uh, CFX to, uh, to make sure that, uh, for example, the uh, tip drag effect and other effects are actually really located at the tip of your blade uh, and there's no dark spots at the top of your blade. So, um, for this, there's a specific parameter that's located in the main configuration file, which is over here. It's the config.txt and you can open this and uh, if you look for the parameter called LED strip, you will find the uh, LED strip setting. And in my case, it is 133. So that's an important number to remember because if we go back to the uh, downloaded uh, the downloaded graphics package and uh, let me see where I got it so I've got the downloaded package over here if I open this you will see that I have uh, several blade sizes that uh, I've 
made uh, of pre-configured. So I've taken into account that uh, there are different blade lengths and I created GraphX packages specifically for these different blade lengths. Now, in this case, I uh, have the correct number uh, present. If, uh, for example, your blade size isn't, uh, isn't readily available in this package, so if your blade size is 130, then you can use the 128 version or the 133 version. You should always pick the closest but one step bigger than your LED strip setting. Uh, otherwise, you will get some dark spots at the tip of your blade. Now, in my case, I did have the 133 version available. So what I can do right now is I can copy these files and then I can go back into the SD card and I should open the extra uh, folder, move into the graphics folder, which holds all the graphics packages. And uh, again, here we have like the same structure that's uh, already available for sound fonts, but this is for graphics packages. So over here, I can create a new folder. Not skipping a number is very important. And I can give this folder also a name. Again, the name isn't that important. Uh, everything is linked by index. Now I can open this folder and paste the files in here. Now, I need to go back to my graphics package. So let's move back. And this is the downloaded graphics package. I need to copy one more file and that is the graphics file. So let's copy this and move back into the folder that I just created. And also paste the graphics configuration file. So right now the graphics package has been installed. So that's the next step. Now, the next thing that we need to do is uh, we need to install the color profile and the blade profile that is provided within the graphics package download. So we have these two, fi these two files, the uh, color profile and the blade profile. So let's install these on the SD card. Now, this can be a little bit tricky because if we take a look at the SD card and uh, we go to the uh, colors.txt which holds all the color profiles and we open this, now, these are all the uh, already installed color profiles and in this case there are only uh, 17 color profiles, uh, index starts at zero and the highest index is 16 so we have 17 color profiles installed you can have a maximum of 33 color profiles and 33, uh, 32 color profiles and 32 blade profiles. So the highest index that you should see here <coughs> is 31. And that's very important um, to keep in mind. If you add more uh, blade profiles than 32 uh, or more color profiles than 32, you will get a, a really weird behavior of the CFX. Uh, and most likely you will contact me to help you. So keep that in mind. <clears throat> now, if you don't already have 32 color profiles installed, then installing the next one is really easy. So we just go into the uh, downloaded graphics package. We open this, we copy all these parameters. We go back to the uh, colors.txt and we add the next color profile. So we uh, enter the uh, header just like all the other color profiles. We number it correctly and we paste the uh, parameters from the uh, color profile that was provided from the graphics package. Make sure that you have uh, at least one empty line below the uh, color profile, which is required or else the last parameter will not be read by the CFX. So this is very important. Now, this was the easy installation, but what can you do if you already have 32 color profiles installed? Um, at that point, you will need to investigate which color profile is being used by which sound font and to see if uh, any of the color profiles are not being used. And then you can replace that color profile. If all color profiles are already being used by sound fonts, 
then you'll just have to make a decision which color profile uh, you want to get rid of and replace it with the color profile for the graphics package. Um, if you use a crystal effects for desktop, then that task is really easy. You can just hover over the color profiles and it will tell you uh, if it's being used and by which sound font. So that may save you a lot of time. That's installing the color profile. Next step is installing the blade profile and uh, it's very similar. Copy all the parameters from the graphics package. Then go into the main configuration file, config.txt. And if we scroll down, we will see here the list of all the blade profiles that are installed. Now, in this case, there's uh, 10 blade profiles installed. So I can simply add another blade profile. So I can add the 11th one, paste all the parameters. I can even set the name if I want to. And I can already save this. And now this blade profile has been installed. Now, what we want to make sure is um, we created a graphics folder which holds our uh, graphics files for this uh, graphics package. And we installed that in a specific folder with a specific index. So if we go back into the SD card and we open the extra graphics folder, then we can see that uh, the folder we created has an index with the number seven. What we need to do is we need to change uh, a single parameter and that's the style graphics one is zero. We need to change this zero to the uh, number of the index that we installed the graphics package to. So in this case, that's the seven. And then we need to save that. Now, same goes here. If you already have 32 blade profiles installed, then you need to investigate which blade profile isn't being used by any sound font. And if they're all being used, then you need to decide uh, which one you want to replace. Now we have the color profile and blade profile installed. Next step is linking the sound font to the correct blade and color profile. Now we've installed the sound font, we've installed the graphics package, we've installed the blade and color profile. So there's only a few steps left uh, to bind it all together and get it to work. So let's move into the uh, last steps. And the last step is actually uh, linking the sound font with the correct blade and color profile that we installed. And uh, we need to set up the speed of the uh, power on effect and the power off effect, which is something which is also done in the sound font configuration. So let's open the sound font folder on the SD card and open the uh, font configuration file. If it's there. now. In some cases, you can find that the font configuration file isn't there. Um, that's not a real big issue. You can take any font configuration file from uh, a, a different sound font. So let's take it from this sound font and paste it in here. And we can simply use this one. So let's open this. And here you will see uh, the start color and the start blade parameter. Now, start color parameter determines which uh, color profile is linked to the sound font and the start blade determines which blade profile is linked to the sound font. So let's get back into the color profiles and get the index. So it's the last one. That's number 17. So the start color should be number 17. And let's take a look at the blade profile uh, index that we added. And that's this one. It's number 10. So start blade should be number 10. Now, what we also need to do is to make sure that these two parameters, that's the Q on and Q off, are both set to zero and this is important because uh, this actually configures the 
uh, animation speed of your power on effect and your power off effect. But if you set it to zero, then the CFX will automatically time it correctly. And uh, I've created the graphics packages to take into account that the CFX will uh, calculate the speed of the animation automatically. So just make sure you set these two to zero. Now, save this and we've linked the correct color profile, blade profile. We've set the correct uh, animation speed for the power on and power off. So there's just one more step that you can do and let's check the sound font files to make sure uh, everything is in working order. So that's the last step. So this is actually the last step uh, before we can put the SD card back into the Sabre and test if things have gone correctly. And uh, this can be an important step because um, as you just saw, not uh, all files are always named correctly or are always present in these sound font uh, folders. Uh, you have to take into account that these sound font creators, they usually create sound fonts for uh, for Profi, for CFX, for Xeno, for um, maybe some other types of boards and they don't always have all these uh, different sabers so they're not able to test these uh, different setups themselves. Um, this can be difficult. So what I did, I created a, a little help page on the website. So if I go to the website uh, crystalfocus.net then I have this sound font checker and this can be used for sound font creators as well. Um, but it can also be used by yourself to check if the sound font that you obtained uh, is named correctly so that everything is in working order. And what you can do is uh, you can uh, browse to your sound font folder. So in this case, that's, uh, that's the last one. That's this one. And I can simply select this uh, folder, the 27J DeLorean folder that we created and I pasted the sound font folder, uh, the sound font files in. So I can select this. Now you will get a warning. Actually, nothing will be uploaded to the website. Um, this is just some standard uh, warning that uh, the browser will give, but nothing will be uploaded. And you will see that because of the speed that this uh, uh, sound font checker will work, it works rather instantly. So we can just select upload and uh, you will see it instantly checked all the names of all the files inside this folder. Now, let's browse down to see if anything is uh, wrong or missing. And most importantly, the pre files are there, um, Paron files are there, the uh, hum files are there, clash, blaster, the hum files, yes. And um, what we did see is that the force files that are there uh, there's one force file that is misnamed so we can fix that and you can see that uh, we uh, have the uh, correct naming conventions written down over here so we can just rename one file and that's the force one and that should actually be named force so that's the only fix that we need to do and right now uh, the sound font files are there and named correctly. We've installed all the packages and uh, blade profiles and linked them together. So now it's time to put the SD card back into the saber and see if it works. Right, so I've uh, put the SD card back into the saber and let's see if I did everything right the first go. Um, it's quite exciting because usually I forget one or two things. So let's boot up the saber. go <clears throat> let's move on to the uh, correct sound font sound bank selection fiber alpha young ring fiber alpha all right i'm already there sd card usb system menu sd fiber alpha select it and let's see if it's working And it is. All right, 
correct. So that's excellent. So we did everything correct uh, at the first go, um, which is awesome. Now, should you have any questions or any doubts if you uh, installed this correctly or it's just not working uh, and you did follow each step, then please don't hesitate to contact me and I'll be happy to help you figure it out. Um, hope this helps. Enjoy and bye bye.